Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be playing Nintendo 64 games on Linux. But this time, instead of using MUPIN, I'll actually be using Project 64. And so right now there's two ways I can play in Nintendo 64 games. And a more sort of native to Linux way is using MUPIN. But there's only one problem here is that the emulation is not good. And each game requires messing around with the settings to get it to work um, in a respectable way. Whereas if you use Project 64, you get a more consistent uh, experience here. But the problem with Project 64 is that it's actually only available for Windows. And I think they have some sort of Android version available. But yes, in general, Project 64 only works with Windows. And so here we have to use Wine to get this to run. And for those of you who don't know, Wine lets you play windows only programs and i won't go into too much detail but it's really simple you go into whatever linux os you have usually you can find wine in your linux distributions repositories and it's just a matter of installing it like you would install any other app anywhere and once you get it running you just download project 64 from the website which I'll leave in the link below, in the description below. And you just install it like you would install a Windows program and just follow the prompts. It should show up in your programs list. So I've got it here as an icon. And so while the experience is consistent, there are a few quirks here and there that you must be aware of here. To start, when you launch it, it's gonna launch and since this is not since this is actually the free version of Project 64, there's gonna be a little countdown prompt that will basically not allow you to do anything. So you can see continue, counting down from 30, and you can totally almost get stuck here. You can try closing it, you can try clicking here, and it won't do anything. But all you got to do actually is press escape and that clears it up. I'm going to actually test out a game here. Let's try Super Mario 64. Why not? It's the quintessential N64 game. And so right now, the game itself should be playing, but it's not. And you may think, hey, I guess it doesn't work. But one of the weirdest quirks is that all I got to do is minimize and maximize and there you go it starts playing Hello. now as you can see i'm playing it in not in full screen mode here and another quirk of this is that if i switch it to full screen it's actually gonna bug out and somewhat crash it won't actually go full screen and so that's one of the negatives is that the games here will run pretty good actually better than what they run in mupin but you can't play full screen the good thing though is that the resolution can still be configured so right now even though it's not full screen you can see it's pretty sharp so let's look at the settings here. I'm running full screen would be 1080. Windowed resolution is this because I think this is like the perfect fit here. You could stretch it out or actually you really can't. But, but yeah, honestly, this resolution is fine. So let's try.
All right, I think you've seen enough of this game. Let's just try loading up another game here. Because there's another Quirk. Try Mario Kart 64. And of course, you got to minimize, maximize. I guess this is another Quirk. Oh, okay, just took it a while. That was weird. Yep. So switching from game to game is another quirk. There's no volume, so that's weird. So a couple of things here. Um, normally, it's probably recommended to close the emulator once you're going to switch to another game. Otherwise, you'll get this weird issue where the sound isn't working. So let's close and reopen. But normally, Mario, Mario Kart 64 did not eh, showed it like in a smaller screen so you could hear the sound it's actually pretty cool because i was having an issue where it was just like a, a smaller square here so it was like a smaller windowed resolution but whatever i did fixed it so it'll have its quirks here But yeah, normally if you want to go glitch free, just close the emulator and load up another game. Now if you compare this to M. Yupin, a lot of times there's flashing in certain games. And in this there's no flashing. All the games pretty much run perfectly clear. Let's test. Of course, the epic, another epic here, Legend of Zelda. Of course, minimize, maximize. Brings back good memories. But as you can see, it works perfectly fine. So let's try one of my personal favorites. Ooh, and I made a mistake. Should have closed it first, right? Okay, let's go back to Quest 64. See, this one kind of opened up, not fully inside the square that's kind of how it's kind of how um mario kart 64 was behaving it somehow got fixed so i think if you tweak it play around with it maybe you can even get full screen working who knows but yeah this is one of my all-time favorites and the good thing is you're seeing how each game runs here and then let's try Rampage. Ooh, but I forgot to close it first again here. And of course that may get annoying. But yes, in general, this works a lot better than MUPIN. And really, I'm. Um, on my Linux wish list is a good working Nintendo 64 emulator because yeah even though this gets the job done here I'd rather see a native N64 game or N64 emulator preferably with Vulkan running that would be really nice and there doesn't appear to be that much demand I guess N64 games are now too classic that only like an older limited generation is into them. I hope I'm wrong, but this is the best way to play N64 games. 
using Project 64 via Wine. And so if you guys um, have Linux and want a game and play in 64 games, this is, this is the setup I, I recommend for you guys. Other than that though, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.